All right, another BravoCon in the books. The sold-out three-day event had fans catching up and hanging out with our favorite Bravo liberties from various franchises in New York. Yeah, this morning, Real Housewives of Potomac star Ashley Darby is here to talk about her experience and, and how she made headlines. Girl, you were Did all I? over mm -hmm. my Was Twitter I? feed. Me? <laughs> Little old me? <laughs> yes, you. Yes, <laughs> just having fun. So, so um, how was it? And uh, was there, did there happen to be any drama? Okay, so BravoCon was amazing. This was my second year, so I went in 2019. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how they would top themselves, and miraculously, <laughs> they topped themselves. It was like, I think it was something like 40,000 fans or wow, something really? were there. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I mean, from like, I'd start getting ready at 6 a.m., I wouldn't get home till 10. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was back out in the streets again, but, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, well, so... Is Luke a good kisser? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, and we have a picture. We have a picture. <laughs> um, he's a really nice guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we hung out Saturday night and then Sunday night, and there was just a little peck, nothing. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Okay. I wasn't gonna tell anybody that, but I, you know, I can't, I can't hold it in. I'm See, just, that's how it is. I'm we, a bad we, liar. we draw it out. Yeah, on the yeah, we do. Here, we do. No, but so, do you, are you guys? You think you date or? We'll see. Like we're really yeah. getting to know each other. We mm -hmm. haven't really had time at BravoCon. It's like everything is about the fans. Oh. You will have appearances. You have a very packed schedule. So yeah. we didn't really get to spend a lot of time together. So we'll right. see. What about Brian Benny? Oh, from uh, Family yeah. Karma. Yeah. That was a kind of a joke because he, he like, made this joke. He was like, well, am I going to get a chance? It was it was all in passing. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's just like, yeah. Lots of thing. interest, mm. though. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I am on the market, Holly. I, I know, know. I know. I, know. Market, I love how so. she gets when she talks about this. No, I love this for you. I'm not surprised that you're getting all this interest. Um, by the way, I saw you, like, checking somebody. I couldn't figure out who it was, but it was somebody from another franchise on stage. Vicky Gumbelson. What happened? So Vicky and I had done an appearance together when I first started Housewives. And they did this panel, Housewife to Housewife, and they put the OG with the youngest person mm -hmm. in the franchise, which, like, I can see how that was a little shady. Huh. But as soon as I sat down, she was like, who are you? Oh. And then she just got up and walked right out of the room. And we were supposed to be there for, like, two hours, by the way. Yeah, but here's the thing. Clearly, you weren't the only one with a Vicky story. Oh, I know. Yeah. Right? Uh, yes, Kenya came up with, with fire. I was like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, speaking of fire, um, Sunday's episode of uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. Yes. Oof. It was pretty brutal to watch. So I don't want to give it all away, but there were some um, issues that were brought up with Candace about Chris and late night DMs that were sent and uh, Giselle having some issues about him asking to meet with her. It happened to be alone. Uh, and Candace is really hurt by all of it. What, what do you, what has happened since then? What do you make of it? Do you, you know? Well, obviously there's a lot more that's going to play out. Um, and as far as that situation went, all I was saying and what I've maintained is that I just didn't think, based on my relationship with Candace, that was an appropriate thing. Mm -hmm. That was my issue, mainly. And yeah, you know, I mean, if anyone damns me at two in the morning, I usually just have like, a, my first inclination is, what are your intentions? Uh, but I don't think he was malicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or flirtatious, I don't. Do you well, think you and Candace will- How many are you getting at two in the morning? <laughs> Well, I know, you you're on the market. <laughs> no, but you see, <laughs> do, do you see why it would be a cause for pause? Do you see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I absolutely yeah. see. Without question. Do you think you and Candace will, I know you guys are, are working your way back to like being friends or at least being cool with each other. Do you think this will be an issue? I never say never for us, but I mean, she's had very strong opinions about my marriage in the past. Yeah. And I think that now that there's a mirror sort of being put up to her relationship, she's being very defensive. Um, you know. Oh, just, come on. It's just her turn. That's par for the course. Right? Yeah. Let's yes. Reality TV works. But that's how it is. I mean, it definitely puts a spotlight on your relationship. Yeah. yeah. So it makes you fix them. All right. Well, of course she's sticking around. She's not going anywhere. So she'll be here online at lunch hour. Uh, and just a reminder, you can catch a new season seven episode of Real Housewives of Potomac Sunday nights on Bravo. Mm -hmm.